I'm having a lot of conversations with people trying to build my pipeline for next year. The thing I keep running into, so many people are telling me that they want to wait till next year, they're going to time the market perfectly, they have the crystal ball, they know what's going to happen with prices. What are you saying to people? I think this has always happened and the last time I remember this happening is March of 2020 where all of my clients knew exactly what was happening in the market. They were going to get foreclosures, they were going to get amazing deals in the next few months and What's happened since that point is detached homes in Calgary are up 10, 15, 20, 30 percent in some cases. It comes down to what someone's long-term plan is, right? If they're looking to be in the home for 10 years, if they can do the finances on it and look and see, do the numbers add up? And is it a home that they can maybe improve upon and be happy with for years to come? It just doesn't make sense for people to wait right now. Otherwise, they're going to get priced out of the market and they're going to be trapped as renters long-term. It's always funny to me when I have clients that say, I'm going to wait for the market to melt down. I'm going to wait for the prices to drop. The least likely time for people to purchase is when there's turmoil in the market. When the market is falling out, the last thing that you want to do is take a risk by purchasing because you could lose 20, 30%. When I'm looking at our market now, I'm only seeing an upward trajectory. Like it's always funny when people are like, Oh, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy when the market goes down, and then the market drops, like let's say 15% in stocks or in homes, and people are like, "I don't want to buy now. This is turmoil. They're like the world's crashing. It's like you're not gonna buy now, bro, unless you're you have like a strong stomach for investing. People don't buy on when the market's going down. Yeah, but that's where you make all your money. I think people need to look at the long-term trends and look at the data, not panic and look at the rates and decide based on that. The news articles. Exactly, exactly. And if you look at the research and look at where Calgary is going, it just makes sense. If you're in a position to buy now, why wait?